Hey guys, welcome back to Monster Review where we take a look at tech, tech tips and how-to videos. Today, we got another product from Wise. This is their vacuum cleaner. So we got the vacuum. It's, uh, it's a very nice vacuum very small has no juice so that we are going to have to charge it where we use it we have a flat nozzle angle nozzle a I, I don't know what kind of nozzle this is a brush nozzle we got a nice carrying bag actually I'm going to be completely honest this is not a nice carrying bag. This is kind of cheap it's plastic. And we have an extension hose. And a charger, USB. But it does come with a USB to USB-C. And then a quick, and then a quick start guide. Now, like I said, this is very small, and so look, look at that. Like this is, this is laughable. It's like, a, looks like a toy. Like, like seriously, what am I gonna fit in there? Like, there's only room for dust. That's it. There's crumbs and stuff like that. Uh, man, uh, let's charge it up and see what it can do. So I've been using the Wise Vac for some time now, for about a week, a week and a half, and uh, here are my thoughts. Some of the things that I like about the Wise Vac is that it's extremely portable, has USB Type-C charging, has powerful suction, two power modes, all the attachments you will ever need, very comfortable to hold, and it has long battery life. Some of the things I don't like about this vacuum is the waste container is too small. The battery is not replaceable as of right now. I mean, there's there's no obvious way to replace this battery like there is, let's say, the Dyson. And depending on what you plan to use this vacuum for, it's kind of expensive. Okay, so originally I was comparing this vacuum to the Dyson DC34. And the reason behind this is because I had paid $100 for this DC34 about six, five years ago. So I was like, you know, it's, it's kind of the same thing. You know, they're around the same ballpark when it came to prices. However, number one, I didn't realize that I had picked up the DC34 for a steal. And number two, I also didn't realize that Dyson no longer makes a hundred dollar handheld vacuum. The cheapest I could find was like three fifty, four hundred dollars. So once I saw that, I was like, well, this is, there's no point in doing this now. You can't compare a $80 vacuum to a $400, $350 uh, handheld vacuum cleaner. You just, you just can't. It's not to say that this can't hold its own. I'm pretty sure it can very much hold its own against those bad boys. I feel like this vacuum was targeted to a specific kind of person. A person who is surrounded by little uh, monsters who like to make mess with cereal, chips, anything really. And um, furthermore, I think that this vacuum was geared towards people on the go because it has a long battery life. Um, you know, the container is small, so I can't see this vacuum all that useful for like cleaning the house. Sure, to clean up a quick mess around the house, yeah, no problem. But um, even so, let's say your kid drops some Cheerios on the floor, dry Cheerios. The waste container is not going to be large enough for you to pick up all that cereal. So I'm pretty sure you would need something bigger. I feel like this was targeted more for like vehicle use. Number one, it charges through USB Type-C so you can very well charge this in your car. Keep it in your car if you want. And it's so compact, it can fit anywhere in the car. 
and not stick out like a sore thumb. Back when um, the Honda Odyssey uh, came out, I can't remember which model year it was, 2019 or 2020, they came out with a uh, Odyssey that had a vacuum cleaner and a lot of people were like, dang, they didn't necessarily want an Odyssey, but they wanted the vacuum cleaner. And um, I, you know, I spent weeks trying to figure out a hack of how can I put a built-in vacuum cleaner into my Ford Explorer. Best solution I came up with was the DC34. However, you weren't able to charge it in the car. You had to charge it through the wall adapter that it came with. And number two, it was kind of bulky, so it didn't really fit underneath this seat. However, if you had seats that were higher than my Ford Explorer, then you might have very well been able to get it under the seats, but this couldn't fit under our seats. And another thing is, even though it cleaned very well, the design of it wasn't meant to like get underneath the seats and in the crevices between the seats and the door you needed to buy a special attachment to do that and i didn't feel like spending 50 dollars on that attachment so this will definitely be replacing the dc34 in terms of keeping in the car so we can use it to quickly clean up any messes that we encounter on long distance trip. I think it's perfect for that. Because like I said, the container is small and it's not really a multifunctional vacuum. There's no attachment where you can, you know, clean your couch and then put on a brush roller and start vacuuming your floor. No, there's no attachment for that. Uh, even if there was, how much can you truly pick up with this vacuum? However, WISE does have you covered. They do have a portable vacuum cleaner with all those attachments that goes up against the Dyson. This one is the V-Series. I don't know which V-Series it is, but this is the one that comes with the motorized roller and all that. Again, this one is also five or six years old. That's another thing that Dyson users can attest to that these vacuums are built to last. I also have the um, Dyson Animal that I've had for 10 years. That thing is still kicking very strong. This one, I had to replace the battery on it because the brush roller, it does put a drain on the battery. This one, however, is the original battery that the vacuum cleaner came with and it works fine. Um, the only thing that's no longer working is the max button but I think it's stuck on max anyway when you push the trigger, so it's fine. So, there's no telling how long this vacuum cleaner will last. It's gonna be interesting to see. And like I said, if you're interested in all in a all-in-one portable vacuum, kind of like the Dyson, um, Wise does make one now uh, for like $120, $130. Uh, I haven't been having a chance to test it yet, but that will be an interesting test seeing I have two the older model Dysons. I also can get my hands on the newer Dyson and compare them. But that'll be for another video. So yeah, $80 comes with a bunch of attachment, USB cable, you could charge it in your car, you can tuck it underneath the seat. Is it worth it? If you plan on using it to, you know, keep inside your car so you'll always have a vacuum to clean up quick messes inside your car, I think it's worth it. Even if you don't want to keep it in your car, you can also use it around the house to quickly clean up small messes, you know? Um, so it is, uh, it is very handy to have. And like I said, it's very comfortable and there's tons of attachment and the way it's designed, unlike the Dyson, it can fit into a lot more places. It has two mode. <laughs> So it definitely has the power to pick up, but is it worth $80? You see, that's a tough one. It all comes down to portability. You can get a nice rigid shop vac for $50 from Home Depot. Those things have very powerful suction and you can do a lot more than just clean your car with it. And it's one of the best vacuums that to detail your car with. So yeah, a shop vac, $50, you can plug it in and you can clean all you want, but if portability is essential for you, then you can't go wrong with this $80 vacuum cleaner. It, it performs just as well as the DC34 in terms of you know cleaning up quick messes, but it's a great portable vacuum and you're not gonna find a vacuum this good at $80. Remember these, back in the 90s, everybody had these, they were, cheap $25 and like you know people use them to clean up their cars and all that and and for a time it 
seemed like it worked. It didn't work well, but it worked well enough. To see this thing is smaller, runs on battery, and works better, it works 10 times better than this thing, shows you that vacuum cleaners have come a long way. So I would recommend it if you're looking for portability. Again, if not, you might want to look at it like a shop vac. Anyway, that does it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you found it helpful, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you didn't and you found it terrible. Thumbs down work also. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like these. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Later.